Thank you for welcoming me, Shari, and warm thanks to Pastor Hagee for your leadership and guidance. Thanks to presidents, world leaders, and communities of conscience around the globe. As an American Jew and as a representative of the Trump administration, your friendship, advocacy, and support mean a great deal. Today, I'd like to focus with you, our friends from KUFI, on a few big issues and developments that should matter to all friends of Israel. I represent the U.S. Agency for International Development, which is charged with carrying out America's foreign assistance efforts to advance national security and our country's global goals for developing countries around the world. I like to say that every nation's assistance programs are a reflection of that nation's core principles. For decades, America has set the standard for selfless world leadership. We helped rebuild Europe after two world wars. We buttressed fragile democracies against the threats of communism and tyranny. We're the global leader in providing vaccines treatments, and prevention for diseases like tuberculosis, malaria, HIV AIDS, Ebola, and now for COVID-19. All of this is a reflection of the generosity of the American people. Ours is a kind nation that exemplifies the language in Micah 6.8. Our job is to do justly, show mercy, and walk humbly with God. For me, this is the best guidance for how we approach our assistance to countries around the world. Our assistance programs help nations achieve greater self-reliance, prosperity, and freedom. Through the lens of our assistance, we speak with countries around the world as being on journeys to self-reliance. This is a dignified approach to U.S. government assistance. According to Maimonides' Eight Levels of Tzedakah, of charitable giving. The highest form of tzedakah is a loan, a grant, a partnership, or a job that results in the person no longer living by relying upon others. Another way of thinking about this is the idea of teaching a man to fish rather than giving the fish to him. There is perhaps no greater example of this than Israel a nation of refugees who defeated foreign invasions and had to impose food rationing for its first decade of existence. But with their own hard work and American friendship and support, Israelis have built a thriving free country. Today, Israel exports its innovations across the globe and cooperates with America to address some of our world's most urgent problems, including the widespread demand for reliable energy throughout Sub-Saharan Africa. We're continuing to build on this important partnership. Together, America and Israel are helping the developing world flourish. Farmland is greener. Science is more advanced technology is more secure, and emerging markets are growing. Of course, no discussion about America's friendship with Israel is complete if we don't talk about our shared interests and common threats in the Middle East. Sadly, there remain dangerous elements and governments who are relentlessly committed to Israel's, and more often than not to America's, destruction. Forces of radical Islam align against us, and it is our destiny as two of the world's greatest and historic democracies to fight back. We're most effective when we do that together. President Trump has advanced the U.S.-Israel relationship in ways never seen before. This began with his decision to move the American embassy to Jerusalem, the capital of Israel. It continued with his recognition of Israeli sovereignty over the Golan Heights and went even further with his historic Peace to Prosperity Plan. Another critical goal of President Trump and USAID is the protection of persecuted Christians around the world. The President is standing up for almost 250 million Christians around the world who are persecuted for their faith. 
ancient Christian communities in the Middle East remain in grave peril from the zealots of ISIS and the radical mullahs in the Islamic Republic of Iran. These communities are the very cradle of the Christian faith and their presence is a treasure that must be preserved. I know that the irony is not lost on this audience that Israel, the Jewish state, is the only truly safe place in the entire Middle East for Christians to practice their faith freely, openly, and with support from local citizens of all faiths. The Trump administration has provided hundreds of millions of dollars to revitalize these historic Christian communities. USAID is one of the best positioned agencies in the federal government to work on these efforts, and we are firmly committed to this work. Our hope is that these Christian communities in places like northern Iraq can be fully restored and that they will continue to bear witness to the message of scripture in the very place where it took shape. Indeed, President Trump's actions to champion the persecuted have been nothing short of extraordinary. Some might even call them miraculous. His commitment to the Jewish state is equally strong and deep-rooted. I have heard some call it equally miraculous. We who are honored to serve our country in order to support historical communities and to highlight and counter discrimination, are honored to partner with friends like KUFI. Again, I want to thank you and KUFI for raising your collective voice. And now I turn it back to you, Shari.